I think it went exceptionally well. Uh, that meet has historically been one where, uh, given given the location, you can get four seasons in a day. You know, you could start out with, with sunshine and then snow by the end of the day. And so we really lucked out. We basically had uh, two beautiful days, uh, you know, bright sunshiny days. Saturday was a little bit windy, but um, not in a way that was, was super impactful to the competition. Um, a lot of people came back with, with great marks. And uh, I always think the transition in, indoor to outdoor is, is, you know, pretty underrated. It, it's difficult. You know, it's a very different, uh, it's a different sport. It's an entirely different sport. Uh, so seeing people adjust to that pretty well. And, and, you know, those people who didn't have bests or, or, you know, marks that they were super happy with, I think that most of them understood that, yeah, it's the first time outside and it's going to be a little bit uh, of a transition. So all in all, great things. You know, I felt like every every group, every event group had some good marks to bring home. And, and uh, more than anything, we had a really nice trip, um, you know, culturally getting, getting, you know, there's something about when you stay overnight for a trip that just, just for whatever reason brings people together in different ways. So I'm um, glad to have that since we didn't get to do that for the indoor season with uh, hosting the conference meet. And, uh, and things are looking up. It's going to be a good, uh, good outdoor season and got another one this weekend at Carnegie Mellon. So. I think it was great. I saw that a large number of our teammates got personal records and season bests. So I think it was a great weekend for everyone. Um, coming off outdoor season, everyone's you know, still in good shape, but had some time to kind of gather themselves. And so everyone's excited to go outdoors. And it was a beautiful weekend too. So that, that um, you know, wasn't bad. <laughs> well, last week it was all, you know, figuring out our relays and such. And I think we had some rough patches like within handoffs and, you know, just first meet jittered. So I think the second meet is a huge, like, huge turning point for us. I think the first meet, there are little rough, rough patches and the second meet is where we turn things on. We fine tune some things and figure out, you know, what events, you know, we we're best in or what, you know, relay order, and how everything just, how everything comes together, I guess. And I think figuring that out will be a huge part in, in the second week, especially against Mellon and then a bunch of other teams with great competition. Similar to last week, I think, um, you know, some people are, are going to be racing different events that they didn't race last week. and. Um, some people trying some new things, you know, and that's exciting for me because, you know, outdoor, I always put a lot of uh, a premium on the outdoor season because, it, you know, you have four throws, you have four jumps, you have a more balanced track meet. And, uh, you know, events like steeplechase and 400 hurdles and javelin and hammer, like getting people into those events where they, they might have previously not had a lot of experience with it. I think that'll be fun this weekend. Weather's supposed to be okay, you know, for, for outdoor track in the Midwest. It's going to be, going to be, you know, pretty much the norm. Um, but it'll be it'll be exciting. There's a lot of things to look forward to. Um, we're putting together some strong relays here and there, so it's going to be uh, going to be a fun one for sure. Uh, hopefully, we can keep away. I saw that it was it was snow, but there was a little snowflake on the weather indicator, and I, I, that always makes me nervous. But um, hopefully, we'll get out of there with just a little bit of a little bit of chilly wet, and that'll be it.